Hey everybody, welcome to another video review by CigarFellas.com. My name is Moose. I'm going to be doing your video review today. And today we are going to do the Tortuga 215. And this is the Reserva by uh, Victor Vitale. This is uh, a cigar that was actually um, requested that we review. So I looked out there, happened to have somebody who wanted to see it as well, and they bombed me a couple. So I smoked one yesterday, and uh, this will be my reserve, or my review one. Um, took off a little foot band here. This is a reserve. The uh, wrapper itself is very smooth. It's, um, it's quite well crafted. Um, I would say that it's, uh, there's no toothiness. It's very, very light. I mean, light vein, almost non-existent. It's pretty impressive. The cap on it is pretty well constructed, and it's actually an oval box press. I don't know if you can tell by that video there, but it is an oval box press. The smell from the foot is uh, almost of a uh, of a light tobacco. A little bit of uh, earthiness. The wrapper itself, not a whole lot. Kind of just really uh, tobacco uh, smell. I'm going to use my Zycar scissors to uh, just peel a tad off the cap of this. And, and realistically, I mean, if you look, I mean, I'm basically just shaving one little layer right off the top of that. Now, I, I hardly took anything off that, you know, just in case anybody's ever wondering how I use my scissors. That's a, it's a really good uh, way of putting it. And oh, lighter in my pocket. Very nice, easy draw. I'm going to go ahead and use my Zykar Enigma 2 to uh, just gently toast this foot. Nice sweet aroma filling the uh, the airspace around me from this uh, cigar. The uh, the initial retrohale is um, definitely some sweet tobacco. It's it's got a pepper side to it, but nothing harsh at all. Holding the smoke in my mouth, I get a little bit of tingle in the back of my sinus cavity, but nothing, uh, nothing overpowering. So far, very smooth. Nice, easy finish. Nothing overpowering. Nothing too, uh, you know, exotic. A little bit more spice in that retro hail, but uh, all in all, I have a feeling that I'm in for a, a very nice, smooth, relaxing ride with this cigar. So we get about a third of the way through this Tortuga 215 Reserva, and we'll be back. So after getting about a third of the way through this uh, Tortuga 215 Reserva, <clears throat> I have noticed that the flavors have really changed more to a creamy mix of a little bit of earth. There is some light hints of wood 
uh, probably more of a an oaky, yeah, probably an oaky in the retro hail. The retro hail itself, although still remaining smooth, has uh, really kicked up the pepper a little bit. Kind of went from you know muted pepper in the very beginning. Now I'm getting a lot of white pepper. Um, nothing harsh, nothing whatsoever harsh. It's been uh, extremely smooth. The burn is great. The ash is strong. I actually knocked off the ash just so I didn't wear it again. Um, this hoodie has seen a lot of ash, especially with my big ash catcher here. Um, but uh, all in all, so far, this has been an absolutely spectacular cigar. Um, I would definitely recommend that if you have the ability to find some of these Tortuga 215 Reservas, that uh, you definitely check them out. I would say that this is a medium bodied cigar. It's not heavy at all. Um, nothing uh, overpowering for anybody for that matter. Um, I would think that uh, anybody out there would have no issues whatsoever smoking this cigar. Uh, especially uh, somebody that's relatively new to the uh, to the hobby, this would be a pretty good cigar for you guys to start with, um, or at least in the beginning to start with. Uh, it's not going to be overpowering anything that you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's just way too strong. Um, yeah, very good, very good so far. Let me get a little bit past the bottom of the band, and we'll be back with some final notes on this Tortuga 215. So here we are, we're at our final third. Uh, you can see that I got a little bit of burn discrepancy, not a big deal. Uh, you know, I've been up, I've been looking at my computer and, you know, kind of just relaxing with this. It is, is what it is, you know, nothing happened to the cigar, but it is what it is. Um, the flavors um, in the cigar have changed slightly, but more importantly, the strength of the cigar has changed. It's actually went from more of a medium body to more of a medium full. Doesn't by any means turn me off. It doesn't mean that it wouldn't be perfect for a newer smoker. Uh, it just means that, you know, obviously that's what it means. It got a little more strong. The retro hail has definitely a longer finish in the final third. Um, it's more of a uh, it's still a white pepper uh, in my sinus cavity, but like I said, it's definitely picked up in strength, not only uh, in the palate, but as well as in the retrohale. So it's something that I definitely uh, enjoy. It's just, it's, it's kind of interesting to me that uh, it picked up the way that it did. It, it's very, actually, it's very enjoyable. Um, the mouthfeel, uh, the finish in the mouth, uh, my palate is definitely stronger. Um, I'm stuck with a lot of wood, um, woodsy uh, notes, oaky, um, a little bit of uh, a little bit of pepper on my tongue, but not not overpowering. Just just enough. It's definitely still a very very good cigar. Um, just a little bit more than I expected at the end of such a medium-bodied cigar throughout the entire first two thirds. Very, very enjoyable. The, uh, the smoke itself is uh, very fragrant. It's almost sweet, the aroma in the air, uh, which is nice. Uh, all in all, just no complaints whatsoever. I think it's a fantastic cigar. It's something that I would definitely smoke again and again and again. Um, it's got a good size to it. You know, it's, it fits comfortably in my hand. I feel like I'm smoking a cigar, uh, not holding on to you know, something that's uh, misshaped or, you know, odd to hold on to. The box press really helps with that. Uh, but, like I said, all in all, great stick. The Tortuga 215 Reserva, I would definitely recommend that you guys check that out. And also, continue to follow us at www.facebook.com. <laughs> www.cigarfellas.com. Getting this whole thing messed up lately. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just laid off the video for you too long. 
And uh, you continue to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. You can follow us on Twitter at cigarfellas. To our friends at Zycar, we appreciate uh, the great cutters and lighters you guys uh, keep throwing at us. I want to give a shout out to stogiefriends.com. Uh, it's just a great forum. It's the forum that we're on. We, we love the environment, the people, everything that they have to offer. If you guys are looking for a cigar forum to go check out, stogiefriends.com. And, uh, you know, last but certainly not least, to our men and women of the armed forces, you know, once again, I'm like a broken record. You know, we love you all. Please come home safe. Get back here quickly as you can. And, uh, you know, for all you other people that are sitting at home, check out cigarsforwarriors.org. Um, it's recently changed. Um, in some of my past videos, we talked about cigarsforwarriors.net. You can still go to .net, otherwise, but it will take you to the .org. Um, it's just HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash cigarsforwarriors.org. Check those guys out. See what they're all about. See if you can't contribute. And, you know, just, if anything, at least support them and sign up for their newsletter. They, they got some great information that comes out. And, uh, you know, it's what it's all about. Until next time, I'm Moose here at Cigar Fellows. We'll catch you guys here.